Welcome back here, let's play Hot Wheels Beat Death for the DS. So, we've gone through most of, well, the entirety of the first area. Now we're just now starting on the second. Before we drift before the vampire. Like, like in front of it type of before, or just like anywhere on the track before it? Whatever. We'll use a rocket, I guess. So, actually, I, had a, I believe I looked at it earlier. So I believe Drift King Ryan Storm's stats were basically... Yeah, they seem pretty similar to what they were in the console version. Pretty much, yeah. Well, actually wait. So fast stats aren't what they were like in the console version. I didn't really notice that. It has bad charge, not bad anything else. It had bad grip, terrible grip, in the console version. It's odd. So I'm guessing we don't need to just do a drift, like, literally anywhere. Yeah, so we're gonna need to do, figure out where this vampire is first. Get rid of that shortcut on the left side. Not quite a shortcut, but they got rid of that ramp on the left side before that gate. Such small differences. You can never really be sure what's, what is and isn't real anymore. That is slightly changing each of the... Oh, there you go. There's the vampire up there. It's kind of skeleton -y, but that is trying to modify all the various locations we've been through already, trying to make us doubt ourselves and better memories. We don't know what's real. Psychological warfare. <clears throat> I apologize if I sound a little nasally for this the next four episodes. Let's... Why can I not, uh... There you go. Trying to supercharge stuff. It looks like it's charged ready. There you go. No, stop it, Rhinestorm. No drifting, Rhinestorm. Stop it. Okay, all, that, all those three have been spent on him without really proper justification. We can actually just finish off the race now. It's so nice to be able to finish off the, the various goals at the very beginning of the race. Or at least in some capacity early on, and then spend the entire the rest of the race just doing what you want. I don't even really have reason to be building up Hot Wheels meter right now, so I'll just leave that be. Yeah, everything's much more pleasant when you can just kind of run along and race without having to think much about anything. I do find it interesting that so fast stats tend to vary a decent bit throughout the different games. You would think, at least I would think, it would just be a matter of always having high speed, which it really does. At the same time, it also tends to have the issue of having poor handling, but it's not always the case for some reason. In fact, it wasn't even that fast back in any of the back in any of the Velocity X games, either of them. Although I don't know if the stats are similar in each Velocity X games, I don't think they were. Just seemed odd to me though. Anyways, we're about done here. Just wait a little bit longer. And there we go. Oh no! Okay, we're good. <laughs> we unlock more things. More stuff to do. So now Rampage again. It is it? I don't know if I prefer having like all the events on one track put together or all the events of one type put together, like the cons version, but I'm really not sure. Guess we get more variety in gameplay the way we're doing it in this game. Anyways. Secondary objectives. What are they? Drive through the shortcut and trap an opponent. Okay, that's simple. As long as I know where that shortcut is. You, sir, seem particularly thematic for this area, now that I think about it. Anyways. Okay. What? Okay, now that's weird. Look at the hit count on the top left. So, like, I get that there are, multi that there are double digits, because maybe there's going to be ten or more. But it says zero, zero out of four. One has double digits, one doesn't. Isn't that kind of weird? It just seems kind of like a strange way of approaching things to me. I also need to actually pick up an item somewhere. Items, where are you? Oh, dear. Missing is actually a concern actually poses an issue in this version of the game. So I need to be careful about 
Just some of those things. And that's also a shortcut. Beautiful. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was considered a shortcut or not, but evidently yes. So, that means... What I have to do now is run on ahead. And hit some people with some homing rockets. And I filled up my charge really, really quickly. Am I just not understanding what charge is? I think your charge was how much meter you got from things like drifting and whatnot, but that's supposed to be the weakest stat of so fast. And despite that, it actually charges really, really quickly. At least it did just now. Anyways, we have a minute to catch up to uh, somebody. And then we can finish this off. And I haven't been going slowly in any capacity. I haven't been taking my time in any way except for hanging behind that first opponent to... In part to draft them more than anything to pick up an item instead of going ahead of them so I could actually hit them. But we still need to catch up to these guys. Yeah, we're getting to them. This will be fine. Bottom screen, your map is so nice to have. But we're not going to catch up to them that way. Please stop. Man, that. That little turn, that smaller turn, it actually saves you a lot of time. I copped him really quickly. Just like taking that. Alright. Some things. Alright, I'm going to watch out now. This is another one of those places I love the music in that they're probably going to have it changed in this version of the game, which makes it kind of sad. Okay, so 300 points in one stun, that's fine. And shortcut. You need to find the shortcut, but sure. There's no barrier to entry for shortcuts in this game, it seems like, which is nice. I don't need to worry about the issue of getting a rocket to open a shortcut in this version of the game or anything, which I like a lot. Like, I'm not against needing it. A weapon or something to open up a shortcut, but... Yep, good job. I did it. <laughs> Seems like that's just not what I was looking for. But the way I was implemented was just kind of annoying more than anything. Man, the render distance is really becoming apparent right now. This octopus. So this one actually feels a good deal different, oh no, than the console version. In part because instead of a normal sky, we have like this weird like cave background. I feel like the layout is really different too, actually. A lot more so than the other. What? Oh, come on. Maybe a lot closer to the Tesla to work than I thought you had to be. But, but also because it just feels like the layout of things is reasonably different. I recognize a couple things right now, I mean, that, was that a shadow of somebody up above me? That was interesting. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Go. What are you doing? Oh, he fell! Well, that's awesome. I, that was not, I didn't realize I knocked him off the ledge. I appreciate having done that. This is a shortcut, apparently. Oh, uh, because it, it's just it's just a road right next to the other one that doesn't take the... Uh, it doesn't take... What's this dude doing? He's catching up to me. Right, right behind me. But it's just, uh, in fact, a more convenient road to get to, probably. That goes right next to the loop, but doesn't do a loop. Dude, go away. I was holding onto the rockets precisely for that. You jerks. Did you destroy it? No, you didn't. The icon on, my, on the bottom screen next to my name will disappear if they destroy it. Go ahead. What are you going to do with that line? Nothing useful, I know, so, whatever. Maybe the reason I never really saw AI put down mines in the console version was because, not because they never put down mines, but because whenever they put down a mine, somebody next to them would hit it before I could find it. And I think that, since every time I put down a mine, somebody would always hit it. It was very, very rare for me to place a mine that wouldn't get hit. Okay. So I'm really sure what I'm supposed to be able to do to get a touchdown bonus in this game. Because the angle of your car as you hit the ground is a lot more ran- I mean, it was quite random in the console version too. But in this one, you you tip forwards as you're in the air automatically. So if, they, if your air is just too big, depending on the angle that you're at before you jumped, or the angle you're at before you left the ground, it can just be impossible to actually hit the ground right. Like this right here. That works. That was fixed perfectly. I also got a smaller jump that worked really well on too. That one, okay, I bounced off of something there. But it's just not always possible to do it. Do anything about getting 
a touchdown bonus or not. At least the game is generous enough to give you two real touchdown bonus regardless, but it's way less. And although at the same time, uh, four real touchdown bonus, five real on all of a sudden. Is a lot more helpful. Okay, so what's your deal here, dude? Whoa! Oh, that's mean. Wow. That was unexpected. Is that gonna hit him? This is a problem. Oh no! Seriously? I hit him right at the end there. If I hadn't messed up that last part. Wow! What was with that dude being so much faster than me though? So fast just isn't fast anymore, it seems like. That's really annoying. What's with that? Yeah, so fast just isn't particularly fast. Yeah, though, why did that guy keep catching up to me in that one part? I wasn't quite sure of why that was. If I hadn't messed up that last part, probably I might be able to get him. Also, the first time somebody actually hit me with anything. First time actually I hit by a power-up. So I guess we're getting to the point where the AI is getting a bit more aggressive. I guess we are getting towards the halfway point in the game, so that does make sense. But darn, I didn't expect to spend extra time on doing the same track multiple times today. I guess we'll just do as we did before. Alright. Well, in any case, we can appreciate the decor here yet again. I do like it. It's just like, even the color scheme is really different from what it was. Oops, let's try and get the inside one. Even the color scheme is really different from what it was in the console version. The console version had more of an orange color scheme. This one's definitely a lot more blue, which makes sense. In fact, it makes more sense. I don't really know why they had the color scheme they did in the console version for this area, actually. See, now they're not catching up to me. Apparently it was just RNG being weird or something. Oh, duh. Whereas I tried to use that power up. There you go. Yeah, because now there's nobody anywhere near me. So why did that happen? There was just this one guy that was way ahead of the pack that was close to me the entire time. Not quite the entire time, but he got close to me multiple times. Strange. This game is inconsistent, which is odd. It's not quite obvious how things work the way they work. Of course, we can always blame that for any apparent consistencies in the world and things being strange. Maybe that particular car was an agent of that. And that was why it seemed to be driving more quickly than it should have, or something weird like that. Who knows? We'll find out one day, hopefully. Anyway, is this really a reason to do that jump? Yeah, if you want to get extra air, I guess. Yeah, that EMP actually still affects you if you don't have an item when, it <laughs> when it's used. That prevents you from using an item that you pick up just after as well. Look at this. I'm gonna, like, get close to... Not close to lapping these guys. I'm gonna, like, get halfway to it. I'm literally on the other side of the track. Why did this turn out so differently? I'm not playing any differently. It's very strange. What if shield protects you from EMP? If you happen to have another I item in your possession at the same time. Anyways. And I, it would be funny if I managed to laugh them or something, but it would also be kind of annoying, because I mean, they could use items on me and whatnot. So whatever. So, no real complaints there. Go away. Nobody uses anything. Well, nobody has anything. So whatever. Anyways. We are done here. So apologies for having to repeat something like that, but in any case, I'll see you guys the next time next episode where we do more underwater stuff. But now, I'll eliminate it, which is basically the same thing, but whatever. Bye guys!